before, but since in every meeting we have different um, parents attend, uh, just to let you know that our school is at its capacity, it is 650 students kindergarten through eighth grade. There are middle schools in neighboring middle schools that are sixth, seventh, and eighth only and are over a thousand students. We are 650 with kinder all the way through eighth. So we are considered a small school. As a small school, we are able to work closer with our families. We are able to know kids by name. We are able to understand particular situation, whereas in larger schools, it makes it more difficult because it, it's too many to, to handle or too many to give that specific attention to. So keep that in mind when you are speaking to others about our school. It is a quaint little place. It's a family environment style. It is a place where teachers take the kids in as if they were their own and sometimes they get so passionate that it's it's hard on a parent to understand oh this person really truly cares about my child uh but that's just the love and the relationship that we're able to build here um again our capacity even even if we reach it to that top of 650 it is still a small school and we will not go over that 650 we're not breaking any class size amendments we're, we don't we don't agree with that we follow our state statutes we follow our amendments we follow the laws so that being said even if we reach the highest that we are allowed to per fire marshal per the county per all these laws that that we follow we are still a small school and that just helps so much especially in the upper grades when kids are changing kids are trying to figure out who they are and trying to figure out certain parts of life it's it's nice that it's a small place our middle school is not larger than 170 students from sixth seventh and eighth and we take pride in that we we love that it's hard because we know everything when you're in a big school you don't know everything things get hidden away because there's so many children but since we know everything we're able to work together with the families to help them through tough situations or problem solving or time management or social skills uh, we have our counselor who is dynamic who is probably the best one yet and she has really worked closely with us even through the remote time and we are a phone call away and we're very proud that we are that close to you all because of the amount that we have in here because of that we are able to work closely with our families so keep that in mind um, that is definitely something that we like people to know we like them to know that there are schools all over us this is not a neighborhood that we are the only school at this is a neighborhood that has about seven schools all around and we love the fact that our school is the smallest it's the school that can work closest with the families and as a k-8 we are able to see our students grow and understand them from day one because we know them from the year before so uh, take pride in knowing that and in knowing that we are here with you. And again, like Ms. Pesedo said, we are a phone call or an email away. So take advantage of that. It's, it's, it's okay. You're not bothering us. Um, we have two questions on the chat and I want to go ahead and answer them. Um, in reference to the refund for eighth grade grad venture, those refunds have been given out. Um, a letter went home or a dojo was sent through uh, Ms. Michelle Flores giving you a uh, specific as to how to access the refund through the WeTravel account. Um, if you have not received it or if you do not know how to access your WeTravel account, please reach out to Michelle Flores. You can send her an email, mflores at bridgeprepsouth.com and she can walk you through the process. But yes, that money was refunded. And then I have another question regarding distance learning. If that is, if, and that's a key word. If we were to continue distance learning for next school year, it will be with teachers from our school. Our children will not be with random teachers from other schools. Um, and if is the big uh, key word there. Uh, nothing has been determined whether we're coming back, whether we stay remote, whether we'll be blended. A lot of things have been mentioned and a lot of things have been said, uh, but nothing is yet concrete that we can say, this is a route we are taking. Um, that's why we're survey, uh, surveying our parents just to get a feel, um, get information from you, um, but nothing is concrete. So teníamos dos preguntas. Una, si los, uh, le habían re revuelto el dinero del de viaje de Grad Venture. 
si ya todo ese dinero se mandó para atrás a los padres, si usted tiene alguna información, puede contactar a Michelle Flores, que es la persona encargada de eso, o le puede mandar un email, mflores at bridgetrapsouth.com. Y sobre el survey que se va a mandar a la casa hoy, eh, una pregunta fue si, sería, si esto continuamos con remote learning, si sería con maestras de nuestro colegio o maestras de otros colegios. No. Si seguimos virtual, eh, perdón, remote learning, que no se sabe todavía si vamos a regresar en agosto, si continuamos así, si va a ser parte en la casa, parte en el colegio, no se sabe. Se han dicho muchas cosas, pero nada es concreto. Pero si continuáramos como estamos hoy en día, claro, serían maestras de nuestros colegios que le darían instrucción a sus hijos, no maestras de, de otros lugares. And final note is that for our next parent meeting, which is next Thursday at 9.30, we are going to be giving you some information regarding summer school. Okay, we have the summer school opportunity for students um, in different categories, and we will give you all that information next week. Uh, please tune in, uh, join us next week. Please make sure that you tell, again, your friends and your, your children's friends, parents, uh, in the parent chats that we all have. So for them to join, because next meeting is going to give you those details and that information. And we want to make sure that we all take full advantage of this opportunity to ensure that, like they say, that they are narrowing the learning gap that we're trying to make this time that we've lost physically together. We're trying to bring down the learning gap that it may have caused. So tune in and join us next week for that. Okay. Um, la semana que viene vamos a hablar algo importante sobre posiblemente eh, clases de verano. Eh, tiempo de verano que los niños podrán uh, tomar clases y continuar aprendiendo con nosotros. Esta oportunidad será para padres de nosotros de Bridge Prep y padres nuevos que van a entrar a la Bridge Prep. Así que esta es otra oportunidad. Si conoce algún familiar que quiere ser parte de nuestro colegio, puede tomar um, parte de nuestro programa de verano que vamos a ofrecer a nuestros padres de gratis. Así que por favor, la semana que viene es importante que entren que en nuestra... Um, en nuestra Zoom, en nuestro meeting, para oír esta información. Obviamente, para padres nuevos, serán padres que ya han aplicado y ha sido aceptado, que pueden tomar parte en el proceso de verano, las clases de verano con nosotros. Um, we have another question, eighth grade parents, the drive-through. That schedule went out already for eighth grade drive-through. Um, that was sent, I saw that email go out over a week ago um, for the kinder drive-by, the fifth grade drive-by, and the eighth grade drive-by. Mm -hmm. The one for tomorrow, I will have the eighth grade teachers uh, send that out to you guys. And if you have any questions concerning any materials that your child left behind, please contact the homeroom teachers. Teachers already cleaned out classrooms. So our classrooms are bare like if it was summer. Um, so please, if there's anything in particular that you're missing or that you're looking for, reach out to the homeroom teacher um, to make sure they still have it and we can make arrangements for you to pick it up. Okay, and as we conclude our meeting, uh, again, next meeting we'll, we'll focus on summer school. Uh, we are hoping that this is another way that we can help you that, may, that would support your child's academic needs, whether it's to remediate or whether it's to enrich and bring up and uh, push them forward uh, through the summer. Again, we're always looking for ways to support our students' educational needs. So please tune in and pass the word on along to your friends so that they can join us as well. Okay. En concluyendo la, la meeting de esta mañana, queríamos recordarle que el meeting de la semana que viene va a ser muy importante. Va a ser sobre información para Escuela del Verano. Eh, sea que ustedes quisieran apoyar a su hijo o hija para ayudar, si le hacen falta más información fundamental, para ayudarlo para el año que viene, por este tiempo que han perdido, o si quisieran avanzar y, y prepararlo hasta más, darle más fortalezas para el año que viene, ese es el plan que tenemos en, pre, en, en el proceso que queremos darle a ustedes el jueves que viene, para que se reúnan con nosotros otra vez el jueves que viene a las nueve y media, como hemos estado haciendo, y se los diga a los padres de los, de los niños en la clase de sus hijos para que ellos también puedan eh, participar en el meeting y recibir la misma información. Claro está que siempre nosotros eh, 
grabamos estos, estos meetings y lo ponemos en el YouTube de la escuela. Y también sobre algo tan importante como este plan que estamos poniendo en proceso, siempre van a recibir información por carta en el dojo y por el email y en el website para esos que no pueden participar. For those that are unable to participate, as always, we record these meetings and we put them in our school YouTube channel for information as important as the summer school information that we will be sharing with you. We will always send something home via email, via dojo, and on our website, just to keep everyone aware, uh, depending on the way that they're able to communicate with us. But have yourselves a great Thursday. It looks like it's going to be dry today. So go outside, ride your bikes, walk, enjoy the environment, take your kids out, and just make the best of your days today. Okay, we wish you the best. Lo mejor para ustedes hoy, parece que el día va a estar bonito. Salgan afuera, montan bicicleta, caminen, disfruten del, del ambiente con sus hijos. Los queremos mucho y nos vemos la semana que viene. Hasta luego, tengan un lindo día. Bye. Bye. Bye.